hello good afternoon this tutorial is, is going to be based on what you need to know before solving any algebraic equation an algebraic equation must contain at least one unknown variable and the equality sign example if you have 2x squared plus 4 equals 12 this is an algebraic equation it comprises of the unknown variable x which we don't know an equality sign which means what is on the left hand side is equal to what is on the right hand side so the three basic thing you need to know one you need to know the basic operations secondly you need to know their inverse all these four operations you need to know their inverse and lastly you need to know the function of equality sign itself apart from these four basic operation you need to know the roots and exponents which are opposite of one another so these four operations are positive negative multiplication and division addition and the subtraction are opposite of each other multiplication and division are also opposite to one another therefore the inverse of positive is negative and vice versa the inverse of multiplication is division and also vice versa so there is what we call exponent exponents and uh, and roots and roots they are opposite of one another so the inverse operation for exponent is the root for these two suppose you have minus 2 connected with positive 2 you see this minus 2 and positive 2 the only thing they have in different is the sign so they neutralize their self to become 0 but this 2 neutralizes themselves to become 1 so if you have times 2 divided by 2 this is equal to 1 so they neutralize themselves to be 1 so this is the fundamental one this is the basic one the equality sign the best way to explain equality sign is by the use of scale suppose this is a scale if this scale is at equilibrium it means both left and the right hand are in equilibrium they are on the same position but as long as you add a weight or a mass to the right hand side it will definitely be inclined because this one is heavier than the other side but to make the scale balance again you have to add the same content to the left hand side in order to make it balance if you take away something from here it will equally be inclined you have to take away the same content as what you have taken from the right hand side for the scale to be balanced multiply some weight here you have to multiply the same thing in order to make it always in balanced position the same thing applicable to equality sign what it means that the whole of this expression is equal to 12 where well, you need to find the unknown variable for you to testify so let us consider this equation we have unknown which we don't know and it coefficient 2 we have a positive real number 2 and a positive real number 12 so this one is real number and this one is also a real number they are like terms so we need to connect the like term together the opposite of positive is negative but since we have 4 it is going to be negative 4 it is negative 4 that will neutralize positive 4 but subtracting 4 from the left hand side will not make the equation balance you have to subtract 4 to the other side in order to make it balance this is even justice to do justice you have to treat both sides equally so this will take care of this to the left hand side we have only 2x squared and to the right hand side we have this minus this equal to 8 but mark you 
what connects positive 2 and x squared is multiplication. So this means that 2 multiplied by x squared equals 8. The opposite of multiplication is division. So to get rid of this positive 2, you have to divide. Divide by 2. They are opposite to one another. And you have to divide by 2 to make the equation balance. This will take care of this. And you know multiplication and division then it generalizes to 1. So 1 times x squared is still x squared. So we have x squared to the left hand side. And to the right hand side, x divided by 2 is 4. We are still going. What we have left is the exponent. We have to get rid of this exponent in order to get the real value of x. This exponent, the opposite of exponent is the roots. But which root? In this case, square root, because we have the exponent of positive 2. And the square root naturally has an index of 2. So that's what is going to neutralize each one of them. But if this exponent is 3, you have to take the cube root in order to eliminate it. So x squared equals 2 to the power of 2, 2 times 2, 4. So taking square root of both sides will make this one eliminate the other one. But my cube, in the law of arithmetic, it says that if you introduce a square root to a number that has no square root initially, you have to add plus or minus. So this exponent will take care of this square root, thereby having x equals plus or minus 2. This means that x could either be positive 2 or negative 2. So does it mean it is the real value of this? You cannot just say that. You have to check back, test, test the value of x in this main equation. This is 2. Multiply by x, let us use positive x, which is positive 2, to the power of 2 plus 4. Is this equal to 12? We don't know, we have to simplify. 2 to the power of 2 means 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 4, is this equal to 12? But 8 plus 4 is 12. Therefore, 12 equal to 12. Therefore, 12 equal to 12. Hence, positive 2 is one of the values of x. So let us test for negative 2. Two multiply by negative two squared plus four is this equal to twelve? Is this equal to twelve? This negative two squared means negative two times negative two. Negative times negative is positive. Two times two is four. This is what it means. Positive 4 times 2 is positive 8. Plus 4, is this equal to 12? 8 plus 4 is 12, therefore 12 equals to 12. Hence, the real values of x are either positive 2 or negative 2. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly give me a thumb up, share to your learning colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload new content.